major, major problem, particularly at this mine, Mufulekosh mine. Uh, for example, eight months ago, our transformer broke down. And uh, Zesa were unable to replace the transformer. So it means for eight months there was no activity at the mine. And all the shafts were being flooded. And uh, after eight months, all the shafts collapsed. However, we, 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 we struggled and uh, raised uh, money in the equivalent of about uh, 5,200 US dollars. And we purchased a transformer, which is uh, promptly uh, uh, put in place for us. But uh, the problem was not solved at all. <laughs> because mm -hmm. I was not able to pump water because uh, I didn't have a transformer. Now I've got a transformer. I don't get adequate electricity. My pumps are running 24-7. But uh, we get uh, electricity an average of two days a week. I mean accumulatively hours, two to three days a week. So I'm still unable to, <laughs> to mine because I don't have electricity. So there's another way, as I was uh, thinking about uh, how to go about this problem. Uh, we could go the solar way or the generator way. But uh, generators with the price of diesel we, 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 we are not able to do anything. We are not able to do anything at all because you, you can't afford that. Uh, was, uh, f with my pumps, you would need maybe an average of 200 liters a day. And that kind of money, I will only be waiting to buy diesel. In other words, whatever I produce will be going uh, towards diesel. The other way would be the solar way. But uh, with the quotations I was getting, it's something beyond me. I cannot afford it. That's where I was asking if the government would come in and help us with the funding, maybe to go the solar way to maybe alleviate this uh, problem, this uh, electricity problem.